you pick up your palette knife and then work that into your meat. Give your meat a good old rub, nice and hot. Hot and spicy meat. <laughs> yeah, boy. The Super Saiyan Rajang build is here, baby. Look at him. Look at him closely. Even closer. One more frame. Yeah, look at that. So the Super Saiyan Rajang build actually is pretty much like a Super Saiyan. This build relies on being on very low HP to do the most damage it can do, as well as somehow staying alive while having 50% or lower HP. All right, so what we start with first is gonna be the Thunder Boost Gene XL. Of course, it boosts its Thunder Element by 40 bonus attack, and it can be found on all Thunder Monsters. Thunder Egg Dens is your best friend for this. After that, we have Kinship Skill Plus XL, which gives a 60 attack bonus to your Kinship Skill Power. This goes great for when you're at low HP, so you can even do more damage with all the other genes you'll see right now. But it can also be found on Thunder Monsters and in the Thunder Egg Den. A lot of these genes are gonna be in that den, so this is actually really good if you want to multitask for all of this at the same time. Next up though we do have Heroics XL which gives a 35 attack bonus when at 50% HP or lower. Just like a Super Saiyan, the lower they are, the stronger they get. So basically, the more weaker you are with HP, the stronger the Rajang will become, meaning that it stacks with every other single thing on this build, including the Kinship Skill Plus. This gene can be found on Fire Monsties mostly, as well as Elders and certain rare species, but the best place to get it is the Fire Egg Den, and shouldn't take you that long. Next, we have Potential Gene XL, which boosts your defense by 6 when at 50% HP or lower. This combines with heroics so that you can stay alive but also be below half HP to keep that crazy buff. Now this gene can only be found on six monsters. We have Opto, Rathian, Great Baggy, Joe, Stygian, and Molten Tigrex. In my opinion, the best place and easiest way to get this gene is the Dragon Egg Den, and your goal is to be getting Stygian and Joes, because they're pretty frequent in that egg den. Now with all that out of the way, let's do the attacking genes. The first gene we have is Thunder Strike Gene XL, which is Thundercrack. It's a power move, has 114 power, hits all enemies, and has a 30% chance to cause paralysis for three turns. Now it's pretty costly, so if you want to switch to something cheaper, that's good too. Again, Plasma Pressure is pretty much the meta for Thunder Monsters, but it's up to you on what you want. This can be of course found on Rajang's, which is gonna be a bit of a grind for. Your best odds are getting it from a SR Woodlands or a Thunder Egg Den, but most likely you're gonna to wanna to do Thunder, since a lot of these genes are in the Thunder Egg Den as well, so you can get all that done at the same time. Next, we have Thunderclad Gene XL which is Azure Voltage. It boosts the thunder attack and all element defense by 30 for five turns and gives a hunter attack up bonus that lasts for two turns. This can of course be found on Bolt Rebirth Stalos. It can actually be found on any ticket in the boss nest for the Thunder Egg Den, so you can try your luck with that. Or you can try rare tickets with the Deviant Den, which is what everyone else kind of does, but it's more random, so pick your poison. Next we have Last Stand Gene XL, Vengeful Thunder. Now this is a technical move, has 110 power, but here's when it gets kind of crazy. The attack power of the move gets boosted the lower your HP is, which of course goes great with heroics and potential. Mix that with Azure Voltage, and I'm sure you can understand why this is a Super Saiyan build. It also has a 40% chance to pair for three turns. It can be found on a normal Stylos, which the best place to get this is, you guessed it, Thunder Egg Den. Next we have Zygnogar Gene L, which is Thunder Fist. This is going to be our speed move. It does 110 power and has a 50% chance to paralyze for 3 turns. But this can be found on Zygnogars and of course the easiest way is Thunder Egg Dens. Or you can try and fight the Royal Monster I believe in Lulaska and try to make it retreat to the den. Now it might take some time to get used to, because it took me a bit. I kept trying to heal my Rajang all the time when it was low, forgetting that it needs to be at 50% or lower, um, so keep that in mind. But as always, I appreciate your guys' suggestions and what you want to see, and as always, thank you for watching and hope you enjoy. Have a good day.